Okay, so let's continue on with some examples. Uh, again, we're working in section 7.1. So with uh, graphing and functions. So I'm going to show you this brilliant drawing that I did. This is uh, taken from uh, your textbook on page 423. Uh, this is used to answer questions 72 through 76. We have a graph and um, there is a uh, we have a function here that looks like a parabola and there are some points on the parabola uh, along the horizontal or x-axis. Uh, these are a distance from the QB, that's the quarterback in yards and looking up our vertical axis where we have these marks 2, 4, 6 and so forth. Those are the heights above ground in feet. So these are feet, these are yards, here we have a quarterback throwing a ball, the receiver catching it. This is the path of the ball. So it uh, reaches a certain height and then begins to descend uh, and then it's caught here. And so the questions that were asked are to find the coordinates of point B, so that's here, uh, and then interpret it. So point B, it looks to me, like that is intended to be at the marker for 17 and if we're looking across this way uh, that's at 8. So this would have the ordered pair so in my response I would say to number 72 so the ordered pair that's represented there the X coordinate was 17 and the Y coordinate was 8 so we could say that, as far as our interpretation, let's try to write a complete sentence here, that uh, when the football is 17 yards from the quarterback, it is, let's see, that's eight feet above ground. So that's what these two values mean in this context. So next we're asked to estimate the coordinates of point C. So here's point C. It looks like that is here. And so that's at in between 4 and 8, this is 6, 6 yards, and that's 9 feet. So for number 73, we have 6 yards and 9 feet. So in this case, when the football is 6 yards from the quarterback, it is 9 feet above ground. Uh, I want to skip up to this next question it says what is the football's maximum height and what is the distance from the quarterback when it reaches its maximum height so it looks like the maximum height is here and that's uh, let's see this is, would be 13 here so maybe that's at about 12 and a half yards and it looks like it's at 12 feet so in response to number 75 I would say uh, yeah, 12.5 yards and 12 feet. That answers uh, what is the distance from the quarterback when it reaches its maximum height? 12 and a half yards. And there's another question here. It says, what is the football's height when it is caught by the receiver? And what's the distance uh, from the quarterback? So if we look across here, here's the height when it's caught by the receiver. So that's in between these two marks. So that's at 5 feet and it looks like that's at 19 yards. So for number 76, we'll have, remember, uh, the x coordinate should go first. So I want to list the distance. So that would be the 19 yards and then the height is 
uh, five feet. Uh, another example I'll show you, let's see, I have a graph here uh, of a function. Here is how the function is defined. We have 0 0.4 times x squared minus 36x plus 1,000. Uh, what is this? So along here we have the age of a driver. Uh, so I have this margin increments of 15, 15, 30, 45. But I've added a couple of values. There's 16 and 74. Uh, the graph is represented here by this parabola. Uh, on the uh, uh, axis here, uh, we have, this is, let's see, I've got to remind myself, that's on page 424. Those are the number of accidents. And this is per five, 50 million miles per 50 million miles. So it says find and interpret f of 50. So let's see, we want to find and interpret f of 50. Well, first of all, I'm going to copy down that our function is defined as 0.4x squared minus 36x plus 1,000. And I want to evaluate f of 50. So I'll be replacing x by 50. And then evaluating. So let's see, if I square 50, 50 times 50, that's 2,500. And I'll multiply that by 0 0.4. And that equals a thousand. Uh, let's see, thirty-six times fifty. That's eighteen hundred. And I'll just copy all this down. Eighteen hundred plus a thousand. So I end up with one thousand plus eighteen hundred plus another thousand. So a thousand. Let's be twenty-eight hundred thirty. That's thirty-eight hundred. And that means that. For uh, drivers age 50, we expect to have 3,800, and remember, that's accidents per 500 million miles. Uh, we're also asked, for what value of x does the graph reach its lowest point? That looks to me like uh, the lowest point is the x value is 45. So uh, for drivers age 45, that's when we expect the lowest number of ac accidents per 500 million miles. And if we wanted to find that exact value, we'd have to uh, find f of 45. Uh, and so I'll leave you to do that on your own. So to answer the next question, evaluate f of 45. And one final example. Uh, we have a function here to find g of x equals negative 0.01x squared plus x plus 60. And this models the wage gap as a percent x years after 1980. Um, we're asked to find and interpret g of 10. So I have g of 10, and I'll just copy down again. g of x was negative 0.01x squared plus x plus 60. So g of 10 would be negative 0.01 times 10 squared plus 10 plus 60. So 10 squared is 100. And when I multiply that by 0 0.01, uh, that's basically a hundredth of a hundred, so that would be one, but there's a negative here, so that would be negative one plus
plus 10 plus 60. So that would be 70 minus 1 or 69. So as far as interpreting this, we evaluated G of 10. These values are years after 1980. So 10 years after 1980. So in 1990, the wage gap was 69%. All right, so that's it for uh, 7.1. I'll post some videos from 7.2 shortly or later this week.